Hi kids, Mango the Service Dog here, and boy am I glad to see you all. Today I want to talk with you about using positive self-talk. Now I know that you remember that we've talked about self-talk before. Today I would like to talk about how important it is. What we say to ourselves is very important. Do you know that you can do positive self-talk or negative self-talk? It's true. One helps you feel better and one can make you feel worse. There are times that we can be very hard on ourselves and say things to ourselves that make us feel bad. This isn't a good thing to do. Sometimes we don't even think about what we are doing when we say things that are negative to ourselves. But the problem is that it can really make us more upset. Have you ever said, I'm dumb. I can't do this. It won't work. I just know it. Or, why am I even trying? Nothing good ever happens to me. That's negative self-talk. When we talk to ourselves this way, we feel defeated, like we can't do anything right. This kind of talk makes us feel sad and anxious. It makes our emotions get stronger, and we might need to do our calming down breathing to help us feel better when this happens. I know all about this because I watch Suki, my other sister, do this a lot. I bet you were thinking, how many dogs live in Miss Haynes' house? Well, there are four of us right now. Suki looks sad and seems to be worried all the time. I talked with Miss Haynes about this, and she said that it would be helpful for Suki to use positive self-talk to help her feel better when she is worried or sad. I thought that was a great idea, so I decided to help her. I explained to Suki that it is important for us to say positive things to ourselves to help us stay calm. She thought it was a great idea, but still needed some help to practice. I'm a great helper, so we worked out a plan. Whenever I saw Suki looking worried or sad, I would remind her to say some positive self-talk out loud or in her head to help her feel better. That gave her the idea to change her thinking from saying negative things like, I don't think I can do that, to positive things like, I can do this. Guess what? Suki started to feel better when she used positive self-talk. She was able to believe more and more in herself. She thanked me for being a good friend and helping her with remembering to say positive statements to herself. I hope that you can work to always say positive things to yourself to help you feel stronger and believe in yourself, like Suki was able to do. Have the best day ever. This is Mango, signing off.